Okay, today we want to start creating some reports using the Kinamo reporter. So in order to do that, we select Kinamo reports. The first thing we want to do is create a new report. So what we want to do is report on opportunities. So we give this thing a name and call it my opportunity report. Uh, first thing we want to do is select the module, which in our case is the target module we start from opportunities. And then start building our report. So first thing we want to do is populate some selection criteria, where the first thing we want to select is the sales stage. So we want to have everything but closed and one reports. So I drag the sales stage over and then basically say uh, is one off. And select values. So all of the above, except closed one and closed loss. And the other thing that's important, we want to select this uh, filtering down by the people who are assigned to. So I open the tree, pick the assigned to user. And we want to filter further down by the username. So we drag this over. And currently, the only thing we want to say, it should not be empty for the beginning. And the other thing you want to do is basically allow edits, so allow the user at runtime of the report basically to edit these fields and dynamically change the reporting criteria. So with that being done, the next thing you want to do is basically um, define what fields we want to show in the list. Uh, first, obvious, the opportunity name, so we want to have that one. Then we want to know the account name, so I select the related module accounts and take the account name so we also override a little bit how this is named so we call this the account name this is more obvious the other one we want to say the assigned user again we filter by that so we also want to see it so we take the username and this we call the account executive then we want to see some fields from the opportunity as well. So first of all, sales stage. We uh, call just stage, that's good. And then the other thing, of course, uh, the expected close date is of importance. So we'll take that. Shorten that a little bit so it looks nicer on the list. And I want to see a couple of amount fields. So first of all, the normal amount and then the weighted amount. So this we call total, and this we call weighted, so it looks better. We want to change a little bit the width of the fields, because opportunity name will be longer, and also account name will be longer. On the other hand, the amount fields, uh, a little bit less should do. Then we want to add links in my reports, so I can directly jump off to the opportunity and I can also jump off to the account. And the other thing we want to do is in the sort criteria, we want to sort this descending based on the opportunity's total. So with that being said, that's all we currently want to do, just save the report and see what we have produced as a result. So what we basically see is, again, in the detailed view of the report, first of all, our menu bar. And then the other thing we see is dynamic options, because basically we have added some criteria we can change dynamically, so our username. And the other thing, of course, the report itself, where the fields is expected, where we see what's going on here. So what we can do now with the dynamic options, change that and say, okay, for example, I only want to see the ones uh, which I had. So we say uh, this equals username knoll. There we go. And you see the opportunities. And of course, we can also change to say, okay, is one off. And then select multiple. So we select the admin and myself and see a different result. Good, so much for basic reports, how we do that. In the next section we want to basically beef that up, group it up a little bit and then start adding charts to it.